I'll give you again, Carmel. I'll give you a broader picture. So you know this man well, and is one of my heroes in life. But maybe the most influential man in my life was John Thompson. Uh, you oh, know him yes. well. Oh, yes. oh, He's yes. one of the smartest, had the keenest sense of human nature. When I was about in my late 30s, I met John in 1980 when I was 30. So I got to know him, and he called me one day, and he said, son, can I ask you a question? I said, yes, sir. What was on your mind? He said, do you want people to like you? I said, of course. That's a very basic human instinct. He said, well, I have some advice for you. You should quit the business you're in. Because when you walk in the door and you ask a rich white owner to pay someone like Alan Iverson $100 million, that owner's going to hate your guts. And if that bothers you enough that you can't ask for the $100 million, then you're not doing your job. So quit worrying whether people like you. Your clients will love you for what you're doing. You want the people you're working with to respect you. And that was maybe one of the best pieces of advice I've ever gotten because there are times that you feel a pressure to do certain a certain way and people push back. You've got to do what you believe in. And my job, I don't want to be disliked, but I had to learn to ignore it. You know, I listened to tons of writers that never met me ever, never talked to me, telling me I was greedy, I was arrogant, you know, and I don't, you know, they're entitled to their opinion, but if you want to have an informed opinion before you write something to be honest, maybe you should talk to them. And I told a lot of them, you know, if you knew me at all, you know what drives me is not the money, it's not fame, it's my in, interior desire to please my mother, who is an amazing mentor to me, a, a woman of very high achievement. She had two master's degrees, she spoke eight languages, she raised three kids, you know, while she was working. With a, with a dad who didn't provide very much. And, and so I always, always wanted to please my mother. And what I was doing, I have a sort of a compulsive drive to achieve, to try to please my mother. And has nothing to do with money or, or fame or publicity. Um, and I don't have to explain that to some of these guys that aren't smart enough to understand it.